What are some of the learning theories that Singapore mathematics is based on? These are the learning theories that all pre-service teachers are taught at the National Institute of Education in Singapore. Singapore mathematics is based on the CPA approach. C for concrete, B for pictorial, A for extract. This is based on Jerome Bruner's 1960s theory on representation. Basically, all abstract ideas are introduced via concrete materials which children can manipulate. Afterwards, the visual or pictorial representations are used to represent the abstract concepts. The CPA approach is one of the fundamental theory used in the development of Singapore mathematics. Let us look at one example of the CPA approach for the topic of addition and subtraction. Let this represent 1. So this will be 10. And this represents 11. In a CPA approach, when children learn addition of, say, 11, 110 and 11, with 23, 2 tens and 3 ones, children can almost readily see that the total of 11 and 23 is 34. 3 tens and 4 ones. This is an example of a CP approach where children will eventually learn it symbolically that 11 plus 23 is equal to 34. This number sentence is in symbols. It is abstract. Children access abstract ideas via concrete material. Let's look at another example for subtraction. Let's look at 32, 110, 2 tens, 3 tens and two ones. If we are doing 32 subtract 11, it's probably easy. Children will recognize that this means taking away 110 and 11, leaving behind 21. What if it is slightly more difficult? 32 subtract 15. Students will now say that, all right, to take away 5 from the 2, uh, that's not possible right now because there are only 2 ones. They will then say, oh, perhaps I could exchange 1 of the 10s for 10 ones, resulting in the 32 being renamed as 20 and 12 ones. Now, there's ample ones for the students to take away. 5 ones and 110, resulting in 17. Much later, children will write it in this format, 32, subtract, 15, and they will use their prior experience with a concrete material to say that, okay, to take away 5 from the 2 ones, there's not enough of the ones, but that's all right. We can rename 32 as 20 of 2 tens and 12 ones. Now there's ample ones to subtract 5 away from, resulting in 7 ones, and then subtracting 110 from 210, resulting in 110, giving a final result of 17. The CPA approach allows children to understand something that is abstract, like an algorithm, via the use of concrete materials. In the textbook, there will be pictorial representation of the same experience. This is an example of the CPA approach using the topics of addition and subtraction. Another learning theory that Singapore mathematics is based on, the theory of variability, 
perceptual variability as well as mathematical variability uh, based on Zoltan Dean's ideas. In showing the number 21, we can use base 10 materials such as this or this. However, in a Singapore textbook, it is suggested that we begin introducing the concept of place values using base 10 materials. Because in base 10 materials, it is visually obvious that 110 is 10 times as much as 11. Whereas in this, it is not obvious that the 10 is 10 times as much as the 1 because the discs are of the same size. This is an example of perceptual variability where the same concept is represented by materials which are either easier to perceive as representing 21 or more difficult to perceive as representing 21. Let me show you another example of the application of the theory of variability in the Singapore textbook. This is from the kindergarten textbook where the students are learning how to count to four. If you look at the illustration, it is much easier to count the elephants because they are drawn separately than to count the lions because there's some overlapping. This is another example of variation. When there are several tasks, the tasks are not merely repetition. The tasks are variation. Counting objects drawn separately and counting objects drawn overlapping. This is yet another example of variability as applied in the Singapore textbooks.